Hi, this video tutorial I will cover lambda expressions. Here I have defined uh, interface dog. It has only one abstract method. The method name is uh, eat. If interface has only one abstract method, then it is called uh, functional interface. Here I have defined uh, interface dog as uh, functional interface using uh, at functional interface annotation. Using lambda expression, we can provide implementation of uh, functional interface. Here I have defined the functional interface uh, dog. It has uh, only one abstract method called eat. Here I have defined the class uh, no lambda demo. Without lambda, using anonymous class, we can provide implementation of uh, dog like this. And here I am calling eat method. I am running this program. Here you can see the output. Here I have defined the class lambda demo. It has main method. With lambda, we will see how we can provide implementation of dog interface. Copy this. Paste it here. Remove up to this. Then remove this and remove this. And this is how we can provide implementation of dog interface with Lambda. I am running this program and we got the output. We have just seen without lambda how we can provide implementation of dog using anonymous class and with lambda how we can provide implementation of dog. Here you can see the lambda expression syntax, argument list, arrow token and body. This is argument list, arrow token and body. Argument list can be empty or non-empty. And body contain lambda expression. Arrow token is used to link argument list with lambda expression. Lambda expression is introduced in JDK 8 and it is new and important feature of Java. We can say Lambda expression is a replacement of a anonymous inner class. Lambda expression is treated as a function. So compiler does not create dot class file. And we can use Lambda expression in collection framework to iterate, filter and fetch data. Why lambdas? It enables functional programming. It is readable and concise code. It is easier to use APIs and libraries. It enables support for parallel processing. And this is about lambda expressions. And thanks for watching.